Hi everybody, my name is Chris Liebert. I'm the sound supervisor on uh, Gold Rush Whitewater uh, up in Haines, Alaska at the moment for uh, season six. Uh, we use aqua mics uh, by Q5X uh, so that we can get our divers the minute they remove their mask and exit the water. Uh, there's no possibility of boobing anybody when they come out, so it's very important to get their first reactions. Q5X has been brilliant. It's been sit underwater. We've taken it down to 25 feet depth and every day pretty much. And it's been absolutely fold free. The one downside is uh, we use waterproof mics, the VT500Ws in this case. Uh, the problem is even though they're waterproof mics, it takes them a little while to shed the water off the diaphragm and uh, you have a delay. Uh, what I like to do is, um, so we can have instant sound the minute they surface, is uh, to waterproof the microphone. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. Uh, there's a several things you need. Number one is a simple, super thin vinyl surgical glove, preferably black because the wetsuits are black. Three very small rubber bands. Some Walker wig tape. This is the most effective, it's super, super sticky. Better than, um, better than top stick, I'd say. Um, and I'll show you how we waterproof the mic. There's a very small amount of um, deadening of the microphone because of it's wrapped in, but on the whole, it's perfect for our requirements. A very noisy environment, we're talking, um, white water rapids that these guys are diving in. So anyway, step one, generally use the small finger on the glove. Simply slice that off and that'll act as the cover for your microphone. And then you prepare the microphone by waterproofing it. Take yourself a little strip, maybe one and a half inches, two inches of uh, Walker tape. Remove the backing. You end up with a very sticky glue. Joe's sticky stuff is particularly good for this, but we don't have any right now. And then you just twist it up. So you have a nice little sticky waterproof thing. You want to do is you want to put two little strips around the base of the capsule, leaving a little bit of room. You wrap that around your cable. You can do a second one. the same thing a little bit further down the cable Wrap that nicely so it creates a seal on the cable. Then you take your the tip of the glove that you've cut off. It's a little tricky, but you can kind of patch it out so it uh, create a little hollow because you don't really want the tape to hit the sides. And then you insert your microphone in as deep as it can go. And then stick it to those two little pieces of walker tape or Joe's sticky stuff there that you've done. Try and get as much of the air out as you can. And you take your small little rubber band and wrap it super tight around the base of the mic.
it's a fiddly process. But once you've done this once, you know, we use the same setup for an entire season. Obviously, sometimes sometimes the, the, uh, the glove may rupture, but on the whole, it does not because it's nice and elasticated. It doesn't provide too much resistance to anything sharp that might hit it. There you go. That's one. So what you're essentially doing is you're creating a double seal. And then you put your second one right between your two bits of sticky stuff. You have to bring your second rubber band in. One waterproof microphone. You can do this with regular microphones too. It's completely waterproof. And uh, it's a nice little tip. You have instant sound the minute you come out of the water. In our case, we have sewn a pocket on the inside of their wetsuit. In their case, it's a hot uh, water suit. And they've allowed us to cut a very small hole on the chest, which we feed this out of. And it just sits that proud Barely noticeable on camera, and uh, yeah, that's my technique.